Time to start a new chapter. It's an easy one, which is convenient because I'm also starting a new chapter in my life right now, which involves a few weeks of limited internet access while I travel around. This time we'll be fighting over that giant box that was near the Guardian statue last mission. It's a fun level for a beginner, but there's no challenge at all for an expert. This box contains a god? A piece of a god, Osiris. Set tricked him and had him killed. His body was cut into pieces and scattered across the sands of Egypt. Kemsit was in the process of trying to destroy this one completely. If Osiris is dead, what good is a piece of his body? It is not easy to kill a god. Osiris is dead, but not dead. If we can reunite his body, he will live again. However, if Kemsit succeeds in destroying a single piece, all is lost. Good thing he didn't do that before we got here, right? Be quiet back there. We have walked into an ambush. I never quite understood Amonra's line Get there. The Osiris piece to the city. This battle often looks very silly with people joining in one at a time. Arkantos and his men have been ambushed in the canyon pass. We must rescue them. Time is short. Quickly, prepare an army and send it to the pass before Kemset can escape with the Osiris piece. The Osiris piece is... Inexplicably, we're playing as Seth this mission. I'll just use these god powers to create a free army and immediately take back the box. Whoever has the most troops near the box controls it and can move it back to their base. Once it reaches your base, you win. The only remaining challenge is tedium. Meanwhile, I'll have my pharaoh and my research speed up unit production for chariots, and I'll start training priests. Can't have too many priests on this mission. I will get these guys training. These guys training too. And both of them rally to this pass. I'll also use this free army they gave me. It's scattered all around the base and fairly weak, but it does its job. As I mentioned previously, most of these set animals are fairly worthless, because they have less HP than villagers. Set's priest can recruit wild animals into these set animals. That makes him a beast at scouting. Anyway, the mission is basically over, so I'll just talk about the myth this campaign is based on. Age of Mythology features one of the central myths of each culture. This one here, the story of Osiris, is pretty much THE Egyptian myth. It's almost the only one to survive in any detail down to the present day. And the reason is that they wrote it down everywhere. In the pyramids, on temples, in scrolls, in writing about medicine and other practical things, heck, in comedies. And it is truly ancient. Less time passed from the time of Alexander the Pretty Good to today than from his conquest of Egypt to the dawn of their civilization. It's recorded again and again over a period of about 3,000 years. Eventually, even the Greeks started to write down translations of it. Now myths in general are full of contradictory nonsense, and the Egyptians were particularly terrible about that. All the details not only vary in different times and places, but are also often contradicted within the same story. I'll try to give you kind of a syncretic version which is the gist of most of them. Osiris is the king of the gods, with a wife Isis and a brother Set. Set decides to kill them, either just to take the kingdom or because Osiris had an affair with his wife Nephthys. So he invites all the gods to a party and goes, Hey guys, check out this sweet coffin I made. How about we all take turns lying down in it, in a game which is definitely not a trap. Whoever fits gets to keep it. And all the gods go, Games which definitely aren't traps, sign me up! But when it's Osiris' turn, Set slams the lid shut and throws it in the river. Meanwhile, all the gods are apparently watching just thinking, Wow, Osiris must really love that coffin. Just listen to all those delighted underwater gurgling sounds. Definitely doesn't need our help. So Osiris drowns and Set takes over. Isis recovers the corpse and buries it, but then Set rips it up into a whole bunch of pieces and scatters them all over Egypt. Isis has to go find all the pieces like some kind of gruesome Legend of Zelda game. His genitals are actually destroyed by a fish, but Thoth, the god of magic, just resurrects him anyway. So apparently collecting all the pieces was unnecessary in the first place. They make Osiris into the first mummy, and soon thereafter Isis gives birth to their son Horus. Thoth and Isis protect baby Horus from several murder attempts by Set, till eventually Horus grows up and fights Set to claim his place as rightful king. Well, sort of. Actually, most myths have them repeatedly interrupt their fighting to play childish pranks or have numerous silly contests. Like boat races or turning into hippos and holding their breath. It's kind of like how Mario and Bowser seem to spend most of their time playing tennis or racing go-karts. Except, by the end, they're both sex offenders and missing various appendages. In the end, Horus wins and becomes king of the living while Osiris becomes king of the dead. Later versions of the myth have Horus kill Set outright, but in the early days, Set wasn't portrayed so much as an evil to be destroyed as just the villain of that particular story, who could be allowed to live once he was deposed. 
Since Set was the god of foreigners, among other things, some think that his increasingly negative portrayal was a result of Egypt's several invasions by foreign powers. Anyway, Age of Mythology's version doesn't fit anywhere in this myth without various time paradoxes, since Horus apparently won already, but now we're trying to gather the Osiris pieces. Still, that's entirely appropriate because the original was also full of absurd contradictions, like Thoth being born after Oda doing a bunch of important stuff. And they deserve credit for hitting minor details from many different versions, which I'll bring up later. The only real problem I have with their portrayal is that they don't really explain why Set is cooperating with their own fictional villains. Well, that's about it for a mission which would be way better if we didn't have that one god power. Have a great day, everyone!